Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys some SQL functions. Now an SQL function is basically just a special little kind of like block of code that we can call, which will do something for us. So these will like count things or they'll give us averages or they'll add things together. And they can be really useful for getting information about the data in our tables. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple different prompts and then we'll figure out how we could uh, solve them. So over here, I have a prompt that says, find the number of employees. So this is kind of a, you know, maybe something that you'd wanna do. We wanna figure out how many employees are in the database. So what I could do is I could I could say select and I can use a special SQL function called count. So I can just type count like that and then open and close parentheses. And in here, I wanna put whatever I wanna count. So basically we could just put in like EMP ID and this will basically tell us uh, how many employee IDs are inside of the table. And since the employee ID is the primary key, that'll tell us how many employees we have. And then I could just say from employee. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm asking SQL to select how many employees are inside of the employee table. So when I run this, you'll see down here we get nine because there's nine employees inside of the table. And you can see over here we have 100 through 108, which is nine. Another thing we could do would be to count how many employees have supervisors. So this is gonna be a different number. You'll see over here that one employee, uh, David Wallace, doesn't actually have a supervisor. So we could check that out. We could say select, um, and I could say super ID. And now when I run this, we should get eight instead of nine, which we do down there. So this will count how many uh, entries in the database table actually have values. Another thing we could do, and here's another prompt, which should be kind of interesting to see if we can figure it out. It says, find the number of female employees born after 1970. So this is a little bit more uh, specific, but nonetheless, it's kind of the same. So first thing we wanna do is count how many employees we have. So I'm gonna select count employee ID from employee but I wanna limit the results that we get. So I'm gonna say where, and here I'm gonna check these conditions. So I'm gonna say sex is equal to female and birth date is greater than, and over here I'm actually gonna put in a date. And so when I put in a date, I'm just gonna put the uh, four digit year. So I could say 1970 and then a hyphen and then put in the month. So we'll just say 01 and then 01. So this would be like January 1st, 1970. So this will tell us how many, the number of female employees born after 1970. Or I guess we would put this as 1971. So let's run this and now you'll see that we get a count of two. So there are two female employees in the database table that were born after 1970. And you can see over here, uh, looks like we have one born in 1971, Angela Martin, and then one born in 1980. So that actually makes sense. All right, let's try another one. Here's another prompt. It says, find the average of all employees' salaries. So this is a little bit different. In this case, we wanna find out the average of all the employee salaries. So instead of count, we can say AVG, and then inside of parentheses here, we could just put, again, the column. So I could say salary, and then over here we could say from employee. And what this will do is it'll tell us the average of all the employees' salaries. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you'll see down here, the average looks like $92,888. And so if we wanted, we could filter this further. So let's say I wanted to find the average from all the employees who are male. So I could say where sex is equal to male, just like that. And now this will give us the average of all the male salaries. So here it looks like it's a little higher, 101,333. That's probably because David Wallace makes 250 grand a year. All right, so that's kind of interesting. Let's try another one. So how about this? Why don't we try to find the sum of all employee salaries? So instead of finding the average, we're gonna find the sum. So over here, instead of AVG, I could say SUM, and that stands for sum. And what this will do is it'll add up all the entries uh, for the salary. So this would basically tell us like how much the company is uh, spending on payroll to pay the employees. So over here, I'm gonna click run and you'll see the company is spending a total of $836,000 on payroll. So that's how much the company is paying its employees. I wanna show you guys one more thing we can do, which is called aggregation. And aggregation is basically where we can use these functions and we can display the data that we get back in a more helpful way. So I have a prompt up here that will kind of get us started with this. So the prompt is find out how many males and how many females there are. 
So this is actually an interesting point. Let's say we want to figure out how many males or females were in the company. Well, I can say over here, select count. And instead of saying salary, I'm going to say sex. And so let's say that we just did this, right? This is going to tell us how many employees there are that have a entry in the sex field, right? So we get nine. But if we wanted to also display how many males and how many females there are, we're gonna have to do a couple things. So over here I can say count comma, and then I can just say sex. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna return not only the count, but also it's gonna return which sex it is. So I'm gonna click run, and you'll see over here there are nine and it says male. But this still isn't exactly what we want. So what we can do is we can come down here and we can say group by, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna group this information by the column that I put over here. So now when I run this, you'll see it's gonna tell us exactly what we want. So it's gonna say three female and six male. And that's because I'm telling SQL, and I'm telling MySQL to group the information that it gets by sex. So it's counting how many entries or how many employees have a entry in the sex column. And then what it's doing is it's printing this data out alongside of whether they're male or female and it's giving us that information. So that uh, is what we call like aggregation and it's a really awesome and you can use this group by keyword to do that. So let's do that again. Why don't we try another one? Here's another prompt that we can look at. It says find the total sales of each salesman. So this is kind of interesting, right? Down here we have this works with table and this kind of gives us information about uh, which employees sell what. And you'll notice I have like employee 105, right? Right here, sold 55,000. Employee 105 also sold 33,000 and also sold like 130,000. So what if we want to figure out the total that each employee actually sold? Well, I can do something similar. So I can come over here and I could say sum and here we're going to say total sales and then over here we'll print out the employee id and instead of grabbing this from the employee table we're going to grab this from the works with table and then we want to group this by employee id so basically what this is going to do is it's going to tell us how much each employee has sold so you'll see over here Employee 102 sold $282,000. Employee 105 sold 218,000. 107 sold 31,000, etc. So we're able to get all of that information given to us. Now, let's say if we wanted something slightly different. So let's say that instead of finding the sales of each salesman, we wanted to figure out uh, how much money each client actually spent with the branch. Well, instead of using employee ID over here, we could just say client ID and we'll change this to client ID as well. And now what this will do is it'll tell us how much each client spent. So I'm gonna run this and you'll see down here, we get all this information. So um, client 400 spent $55,000. Client 401 spent $267,000, right? And so we can use aggregation in order to organize the data that we get from using these functions. So I can add up the total sales of each client and I can group them by client ID. So that's kind of how that works. And so aggregation can be extremely useful and it's definitely something that you wanna play around with. So you know, we have this entire database schema over here. And so what you wanna do is just kind of, you know, try to give yourself little prompts like I'm giving up here, right? So I kind of wrote out these little prompts and they're kind of like little problems that we need to solve. So we wanna, you know, be able to figure out like all the different uh, information from the table. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.